Hello and welcome to the wonderful backdrop of Shanghai. Well, joining me in Shanghai this time is Basim Hassan Mohammed of Qatar. Basim, wonderful to see you here. And what can we say about this show? It's got a wonderful setting and a great place to come. Uh, yes, that's true. I think it's uh, one of the nicest uh, shows for the global tour. Uh, we can see the view from here and also the ground of the show. And I think it's uh, something amazing. It will start tomorrow, so I think it will be something uh, special. When you started your riding career, did you think you'd be competing in well, cities like this? <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, that was in my mind when I started, but uh, now it's happened and I'm so happy to be here and with the Global Tour. And you know, the Global Tour always have the best riders and the best horse and uh, I think it's also in the, uh, in the best cities. Well you're certainly one of those. You started off very well in the first leg in Antwerp. Now take us back to that one, finishing fourth place on a horse, Primeval Deja Vu, that you haven't ridden for very long. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's Antwerp now it's something special for me. Uh, that uh, I jumped there and I finished four with uh, Deja Vu and I think it's first show, a five-star show with Deja Vu there and I, uh, he do a great job, he's an amazing horse and I think it will come. Now we've talked several times and, and a number of us have very definitely got the opportunity and I think seen the chances that you've got. This year we certainly expect to see you on a podium, I think there'll be amazing things from the Qatari riders this year. Was it a big surprise to come that close in the first leg of the series? Uh, I think we all work really hard. Uh, to be always in the top and uh, actually this year we have uh, World Equestrian Games and I think uh, we are really look forward and we, we try to do uh, the best and uh, also with uh, Jan Tops our trainer and all the group, all the staff. I think uh, the podium is really close but just we need to work more and big time. It certainly takes a lot of work to get to that stage but you yourself Take me back, when did you very, very first start riding? Uh, I start uh, my first show when I am five years old, uh, but it's just national show, and but uh, for really big level, uh, only two or three years ago, I started to compete to four uh, five-star shows. You made your debut internationally in 2011, and actually within 12 months, you're already competing on a Nations Cup team. What gives you, do you think, that extra special ability to, to move forward so quickly from that point of view? Uh, yeah, when, I, when we go to, to, when we start the Nation Cup and I was on the team, uh, so it's a bit pressure on me, but uh, we are always work together, and me and Sheikh Ali and all the team. So Sheikh Ali actually helped me a lot this time because he was with me in the team. And, uh, you know, first time and I want to do good and all this t stuff on things in my head. But in the end, it's going good. Well, the last leg of the tour is in Doha, your, your home nation at Al-Shakab. How much extra pressure, we've talked to Sheikh Ali about this, but how much extra pressure do you feel there? And actually, you did post a win in the international sections there. Uh, actually, this year, uh, or last show in Al-Shakab, I, 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 I don't jump the five-star show. I jump the three-star there. Uh, but other, the other riders in the team, they jump the five star, but still I think I have same pressure like I ride uh, because we are all one family. And uh, I think it's really pressure on us, but we try to, keep, to take it with the time and to take it, uh, you know, to, to always try to do the best what we can do. It's, it doesn't matter if it's in Qatar or outside. Uh, we just work hard and we just uh, look forward. You mentioned they're a family. I mean, we, we see the, the group of riders from Qatar competing together, training together, spending time together. You are very much a family on tour, aren't you? Uh, yeah, that's true. That's 100%. We are always uh, like one family. We live uh, together, ride together, go back, always together. And actually, taking you back to Antwerp, I know when you were getting into the final stages there, that all of the riders were around you, as well as obviously Jan training you, but they were all there to support all the way. Uh, yeah, I, like I tell you, uh, we are all work like uh, one hand, and all uh, try to help each other. Yeah, and I think uh, like this, or that's what uh, keep everything going well. And 
And what would be the ultimate goal for you as a rider? I mean, you, you talked about World Equestrian Games this year. What would be the one special thing you'd like to really achieve? <laughs> <laughs> I think the good things, uh, I have a good sponsor like uh, Sheikh Joan and the president and, and uh, Qatar sponsor us and always with us. And also we have uh, super trainer, uh, Mr. Jan Tops and, and Tops Staples. And uh, also I have uh, Deja Vu, and I think, I hope so, it, inshallah it will be good. You, you've actually got a very good string of horses and, and have done in the past as well, looking at Rosalia La Silla, and also Victoria is now coming back to your, your stable as well from, from your ride. Uh, yeah, I have actually this year, uh, I have a very good team from the horses. I have Rosalia, I have Deja Vu, I have Anyway, I have uh, Victoria, so I think Inshallah, it will be a good year for me. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about going behind the scenes there, that training regime, all of you Qataris working together with Jan. What, what is a typical week of training like? Uh, okay, Jan, he likes to, all of us to push us to work hard and, you know, in the time and, and everything like in the time. So we try really hard to, to, to improve all this. And to compete in this level, I think uh, nothing more, uh, no one need more than this. Good horse, good trainer, good, uh, good staple, and everything, you know, it's ready. Just you need to work and to focus, and then you will be one day in some place. What do you think is the extra special quality that you think you have that brings you to the table amongst your riders? Uh, okay, we have the... Uh, Sheikh Joan and and uh, and uh, the our pres the president for the federation, uh, they always with us and they always behind us, you know, and they always support us, and uh, we all work together. And I think and we have also uh, Mr. Jan Tops. He's I think he's for us not like uh, not like uh, trainer or something. He's a big brother for us. So I think all this, you know, it make you or to keep you to, to work more and more and more. And you enjoy it also. And Qatar as a nation, and you've mentioned some of the names in there, have become involved in equestrian sport, not just in, in show jumping, but very successful in racing and in, and in sport in general. You're a, you're a nation that really are being felt across the whole of the sporting world. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, in Qatar, they like to, to support all the, uh, any sport, uh, doesn't matter, horses, uh, football, uh, any sport, they always like to support it and to be a good, good team for it. And take me back to some of those horses that we've talked about. What are the special qualities of the likes of Victoria? And actually, you as a group of riders, we've seen the, the horses maybe moving between some of you riders and, and finding the right fit. Uh, that's true. Uh, like I tell you, also Jan, uh, he always uh, see what the best for the rider and for the horse. You know, all the horses different and all the riders different. So we try always to, to look where is the good decision and, and good things and good combination also between the rider and, and the horses. And yeah, and we all agree with this. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, the, that's the right things. Very much comes down to the management. From your point of view, you've had success both in the in the Middle East to start with. You won a World Cup qualifier in Doha at the tail end of 2013. You've also been successful in Riyadh. How important was that grounding in those big classes there to now coming on to the, the global stage? Uh, you know, always the show in hometown, it's, it's something special. Uh, I start in Saudi, I come second. Uh, there and then we went to Doha uh, and I won the Grand Prix and it was really very good for me and also very good for the country you know uh, to win uh, the Grand Prix in, in my country I think that's uh, very good things and important for me. And what's the driver that makes you go on to the, to the next level in the sport? What is the thing that makes you get up in the morning? What are, what are your special qualities? <laughs> to be honest uh, I don't know but uh, I like to win, and I think all 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 my horses they, they they love to win, and all our team. And I like to be happy and make my friends happy also, and I think uh, that's normal. 
Well, we very rarely see you without a smile on your face, which is a wonderful thing. But And you always come across as very relaxed. But actually, when you're competing, when you're preparing, are you as relaxed as you appear? Uh, yeah, I try always to enjoy it. I don't like, I don't take it like I have to or something and then I get myself under the stress or all this. I try always to, to go away from this, all these things to make me stress. So I try to enjoy it and I do what uh, I have to do and and then yeah, it's going good. <laughs> but do you feel the pressure or do you have any, any way of overcoming the pressure? Uh, no, of course, uh, I think everyone have the pressure. Uh, and okay, it depends, everyone have it in other way. But uh, for me, yeah, I have it, but uh, I can't control it. So <laughs> that's the important thing. <laughs> nice and relaxed from that point of view. And moving on from there, we're looking all the way through the season here, again back towards Al Shakar, but the, the very last leg of the Longines Global Champions Tour. How do you think the season will pan out for Qatari riders? Uh, th I think this season it will be also, I think it will be better than last season. Last season I think we did very good job, all of us. Uh, this season I think it's, it's look like better than last year because we see three of us in the second round in, uh, in Antwerp and in Madrid. It's just, uh, if you can see, it's small mistakes. And also we went in Rome in Nation Cup and I, so I think it's, we improve a lot. Uh, car riders, car, uh, or, or uh, horses, or I think I think there is it's come. Just we need a bit of time, and it will come. Certainly, looking very good for the year indeed. Uh, from your point as well, you were part of the, the Nations Cup squad in in Barcelona, and, and a good experience there. And and throughout, it's it's building all the time towards, and I say looking towards World Equestrian Games, but. We saw with the Saudi Arabian riders the success at the Olympic Games, and, and that's made them superstars in their country, and, and your group are, are very much becoming stars in your own country as well. Uh, that's true, yes. Saudi team is very strong, and, uh, and they have a very good experience, all of them. Uh, yeah, but uh, we also work hard to, to get there. I think they don't get, uh, like a Saudi, uh, riders, they don't get uh, from nothing there. They work hard and, and uh, they really work hard. I was living in Saudi before uh, and I think, uh, yeah, we need to work hard to, to get some, lay, some, some one day in, in good position. And going back to that, staying with the, the, the Middle East, the intensity of equestrianism there, I mean, the horse is very much part of life as a whole in, in the whole of the Middle East area and, and especially in Qatar as well. Does that become the big driver for going into equestrian sport? Is that why you do it? Uh, not really, but I think, I think, yeah. I think, but it's not really. What, is the, what was the point that made you, as a five-year-old, and, and when you were old enough to make the decision, decide, I'm going to stay with show jumping? Uh, okay, my father, he was a trainer for show jumping before, and he always support me and uh, all my family. So, you know, when I am small, I start with show jumping and I continue, and I think I will not stop this sport. <laughs> I really enjoy it, and I think it's something special. And do you have other members of your family that compete in the sport? Uh, my father, but he was train he's a trainer now, uh, and he, he not compete anymore, so he gave me the flag now. <laughs> <laughs> it's passed to you, and you've done it very successfully so far. But, but great success in Antwerp, and, and, and just tell me about a few of your teammates as well. We mentioned Sheikh Ali there, but you've got a, a very strong group of riders competing. Tell me a little bit about a few of those. Uh, yeah, uh, we can see in Antwerp, uh, me, I'm Falih Al Ajmi, and uh, Ali Al Rumehi. Uh, we went to second round. Mubarak, he had one down. It's, uh, I think it's a lucky mistake. He rides very strong and very good. And uh, Ali Bin Khalid, also same. It's a lucky mistake. And, uh, I think we have a very good team. All of them, they compete in last uh, World Equestrian game. They compete a lot of shows. And I think, uh, yeah, we have a good, uh, good riders and good horse. And now we just need to focus and work more. And yeah. Work is very much at the center of it. You, you've been through the, the ranks in terms of international competition, as we said, very quickly, 2011, through to, to competition in terms of Nations Cup in 2012, and through the three-star and the four-star levels, but you had your first five-star win 
in Paris. How did that make you feel the first time that you had a five-star win? Uh, yeah, it was the second day from I come to Europe after Doha, and I went and I go there with Cantinero, and I went the speed class there. So I think it's something good for me, you know, to make me feel very good. And actually, I had very good show there in, in Hermes and Paris. Uh, yeah, I had very very good show. Me and Ali and she and uh, Faleh Al Ajmi. Uh, we all ride very good and I think we really enjoy the show there. We can all look forward to heading to Paris for the Launching Global Champions Tour in a few weeks' time. But how much confidence has Antwerp given you for the season? How much do you feel more that you can, you can tackle the very top level in those classes? Uh, to be honest, uh, after I finish the show there, I tell Jan, uh, I hope I have like three, four deja vu so I can compete every week with, <laughs> with yeah, so, but it's really given me uh, a very good confidence and um, also I think it's good for me and it's good also for uh, my other horses so I ride them more uh, more relaxed and more comfortable and and it's helped me a lot well we wish you the very very best for the season good luck Basim thank you very much thank you, thank you.